4.1 GPA. That is what she had. Nothing lower than a B minus in high school. Perfect honor roll student. Who is she? My cousin. Why shouldn't I go to college, you may ask? Because she's undocumented. Why is it fair to send a Caucasian student to college and then they drop out two years later when on the underhead you have a Latino here, undocumented, that wants better for themselves? The future of a child should not be dependent on if they have papers or not. One in five public school students are undocumented. That's roughly 25% of the population. Only 15% of them go to college. Don't you want that to change? I will not be another statistic. I will not be the 75% of Hispanics that don't have a bachelor's degree or higher. I will defy all prejudice and odds. Over 1 million immigrant students without legal statuses currently live in the United States of America. 65,000 graduate from high school, fewer than 6,500 go on and attend college. 27% of Hispanics are considered below the poverty line. I will not be that 27%. I will work harder, graduate, and become a contribution in society. So when my brother was a high school junior, and in high school what they like to do is that they like to say very hurtful things, and they like to, you know, brush it off the shoulder and say, you know, it was just a joke. Um, that wasn't exactly the thing that happened to my brother. So. It was around lunchtime, and of course, when you're at lunch, you go sit with your friends, and that was exactly what he was doing. And in the lunchroom, what happens a lot of the time are fights. That's what happened, because this random guy slammed his hands on my brother's table, and he said something along the lines, if I'm correct, Mexicans don't sit here. Mexicans sit on the other side of the border. And there were some other racial slurs in there, but I can't remember all of them. So my brother would not stand for that. So then it turned into a fist fight. And two other guys were fighting with the random guy against my brother. And it was very relieving to hear that he won the fight. But it's, it's still a bit scary to think how all that stuff happens. He's in college now, but in, because he's in college and people sometimes don't exactly, how could I say this? They don't like to keep in mind that everybody is here to learn. Everybody is equal to one another. So when he walks through those doors, he still doesn't really feel safe. He never really does. No matter your social status or how powerful you feel you are, we're all equal and we all came here for the ideal American dream. My race doesn't stop me from becoming the 5.8 acceptance rate at Harvard. In recent studies, it has shown that Latinos have the lowest level of educational attainment of any racial or ethnic group in the United States. Statistics will not define who I am or who I will be in the future. I will prove them wrong. I'll be one of the 5% black practicing physicians. I said I wanted to be an author and they laughed in my face. In a study published by the New York Times in 2011, it was discovered that nearly 90% of reviewed books were written by white authors. I will be part of the 10% of non-white authors. In 2008, NSF indicated that 24% of psychology PhDs were awarded to minority graduates. I didn't really think too much of college discrimination until it happened to my aunt. My aunt was a smart lady. Honor rolls every quarter. She will really inspire you to be the best that you are. And she will be in clubs. She was academic. She played sports. She was the best at basketball in my case. And then to hear that she couldn't go to college because she wasn't considered legal, see, that really did surprise me. It's not fair how she had to work real hard to come from a place where she had to struggle and to hear that she can't go to a college that she wanted to go just because she don't got everything set up, how she's considered a minority, to be considered as low income, to come from parents who don't have no bachelor's or master's degree, that's really unfair. And it's sad to see my aunt be well and down on herself. And that's when I realized that she's a victim of 
college discrimination. I will not. 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 I will not be another statistic.